Okay, so now that we have the properties, I went ahead and added the code. So I showed you uh, what the code used to look like. We would have the 3 and the 6 for the space between um, buttons and the number of buttons. And then we were using that whenever the um, the button was put or the, uh, the property nodes were called to initialize the menu um, and move the menu up. So what we did is um, added this case enable code where I am getting the space between but uh, menu buttons and the number of menu buttons directly from the display state in data. If you remember that's where we unbundle and bundle the number of buttons and the space between buttons when we were creating the properties. So they, this is where the information is going to be when the developer selects a property node to set them or read them from. And then I write them in the cluster where we were originally writing the 3 and the 6 that were hard coded. So that's the only change I did to the facade. Now to test if the code is working, there's a testing BI here. Uh, originally this BI only had the code necessary to test set button names. Now we have the option of adding these properties. I guess like this is off, off the menu of the video. Let me move this down so you can see it. Um, no, it still doesn't show. But um, believe me, if you uh, if you could see it, you will see that you have the uh, property nodes for number of buttons, set button names, and space between buttons. So we added those two properties to initialize to 6 and 3 and then we uh, also added two buttons, the number of buttons that changes the property for the number of buttons here and uh, the space between buttons that changes the property that we created. And those are the two properties that we created in the video that I showed you earlier. So if we execute the code now you can see I can increase the number of buttons and we have on the code written all the way to 10 um, but due to space restrictions we can only show uh, 8. You can see you can reduce num the numbers. If you go to 0 then it just collapses all of them. Now the space between buttons needs further exploration because uh, I've seen that if you decrease, if you increase too much you actually see the values changing but I, I don't see much difference so this is something that we might want to explore the only difference is there see how the the uh, text gets covered and then by re reducing the space you no longer get the text covered but uh, other than that I really don't see much difference between these um, with for that property but definitely you can see the number of buttons changing well, that's it. Now you can use this code on the uh, user interface framework to actually use the configuration file to change the number of buttons in your menu. Thank you.